this dude was an actor, he'd be an awful ham. Oh my god, I agree. Oh Jaime, you and Pink, so sexy. If you're talking about Pink the singer, yeah. Why don't you say your first name in English? It don't make you more cooler to say it in Spanish. In fact, just more annoying. I'm Hispanic and I have a very Hispanic name, but I don't say it in Spanish. I say it in English because I live in America. Just saying, hey, I live in America too, buddy. And newsflash, I like my name the way it's pronounced correctly, which is in Spanish. But then again, hey, you can pronounce your name however you want. That's your right. This is mine. That's right. It's that time of the week. I am Jaime Rivera. This is Pocket Now, and this is the Pocket Now Daily Recap for last week. On Monday, the topic was the iPhone 7, the possible color options, a space black that we heard there. And I asked you if you had to pick a color option, which would it be? We had 1,071 comments. Thanks a lot, guys. I want space black because, uh, sorry, but space gray is so ugly in my opinion. I'm curious about that deep blue, though. You know, I'm actually very curious about that deep blue as well, but I am sorry that the space gray is going away because... Uh, it's it's kind of my favorite color, even though, yeah, I like the blue too. I love space black with its stealthy look, but even if it gets all messed up after some time, people will still go in and buy it. So, you know, it's probably my biggest concern. In the case of the iPhone 5, that black finish looked terrible after a few dents. Let's see how this one handles. Jaime, even if Apple comes with a limited edition, more battery iPhone, but only comes with it in hot magenta, covered glitter, I'll take it. I know a lot of people that will, I'd rather go for another phone than the hot glitter. On Tuesday, the topic was the possibility of the Google phone, and I asked you, do you think that there is a need for it? Along with the Nexus lineup, we had 432 comments. It could be possible that the Nexus will be the flagship while Google phone is the premium mid-ranger. It could be. Google is rather unpredictable, but we've seen Android One kind of silently go away, so that could be the case. So why did they sell Motorola? Then if they were still going to end up building their own phone anyway? Dude, I totally agree. I never understood why Google bought Motorola and then sold it. It would have made all the sense in the world if Google would have just kept using Motorola as the Google brand, but hey. I don't see a Google phone happening because it would not make sense to compete with its own Nexus program. I totally agree, but then the Nexus program has been something that Google has never been worried about using to compete with anybody. So that's just why it's so much more confusing. Then on Wednesday, the topic was a possible Force Touch home button, sort of like the Force Touch trackpad on the Mac lineup instead of the current home button on the iPhone 7. I asked you what you thought about that and we had 570 comments. Apple should make their iPhone Force Touch blend it into the screen so we can unlock it from pressing anywhere on the display. Amen, brother. Let's just wait for that. Well, anything is better than the gigantic bezels on the current and previous iPhone models. Yeah, I just don't know if those bezels are going anywhere, but we can always hope. I don't like Apple, but I think they need to keep the home button as a classic. You know, I do agree the home button has existed ever since the launch of the first iPhone phone, but then Apple totally got rid of the click wheel with the iPod lineup when they launched the touch, so you never know. Then on Thursday, Android 7.0 Nougat got announced. I asked you, what did you think about the name? We had 1,243 comments. Thanks a lot, guys. It's cute to name Android food names, better than numbers at least, iOS 10, for example. I don't agree, I prefer the numbers, or the letters for that matter, who cares, but uh, pastries. Hard to pronounce, never ate it, should have been Nutella. I do agree, if we called one Kit Kat, why not just go Nutella? It would have been just so much easier. It doesn't matter what the name is, since barely 10% of Android users users will even be running that OS a year from now. Oh my god, that was a sick burn, <laughs> but true. <laughs> and then finally Friday, the topic was the possible demise of the 64 gig iPhone. It seems that Apple is going to start at 32 gigs, then jump to 128 like we have with the iPad Pro lineup. I asked you what you thought about that. Do you think that 128 gigs is overkill? We had 643 comments. At least the 16 gigabyte took a hike too. Oh man, yeah. Seriously. I don't know, but 64 gigs are plenty enough for me. You know, it's funny. For me, storage is always more important, but then I got the 128 gig iPhone 6, never filled it up. I know that there will be a time when you will need more storage as applications get more complex, etc., etc., but as it stands, I went back to 64 gigs. 128 gigs of storage overkill. Since when is any amount of storage overkill? The more the merrier. I have to agree with you. This is the 128 gig iPad Pro. I do feel that there are certain products that need more storage, like in the case of a tablet, because I carry a lot of movies with me. Because in the case of a computer, because pretty much my entire life is there. But then in the case of the phone, there are a lot of things that I don't carry 
I feel that there are products that do warrant more storage. There are probably products that don't, but then again, that's my opinion. I'm sure that for everybody else, it's different. That's it for the Bakken Now Daily Recap. Thank you very much for watching. A couple of tips if you want your comments to be featured. Number one, keep them short. Number two, stick to the point. Number three, try to get some thumbs up. It helps us spot them a lot easier. You can also follow us on social media and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also catch our videos on Vessel, vessel.com slash Bakken Now, and follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.